The pickup truck segment is expanding like never before. Ford made waves with the introduction of the Maverick, a compact pickup that many doubted at first, but it quickly turned into a massive success. With its affordability, fuel efficiency, and versatility, the Maverick filled a class that was waiting to be explored. Now, Ford will take things a step further with a new subcompact pickup, reviving a legendary nameplate. The Ranchero, once a car-based utility vehicle, is going to be rebuilt as a small, yet functional truck. It may sound crazy at first, but with the instant success of the Maverick, Ford is in a perfect position to experiment and once again expand its truck lineup. Don't worry, the Ranchero is unlikely to go fully electric. A hybrid version would be a likely candidate, continuing Ford's push toward eco-friendlier options. The most probable engine is the 1.5-liter EcoBoost turbocharged inline-3, delivering around 180 horsepower, which is a great fit for a subcompact truck. It's small, efficient, but still provides enough power to handle light-duty tasks. If the company wants to add muscle, then the 2.0-liter EcoBoost inline-4 is the best option, but it is too powerful for this class with 250 horsepower. Its previous tuning with 170 horsepower would be excellent choice if it wasn't too thirsty for the subcompact vehicle. Maybe a hybrid setup could make things right. The revival of the Ranchero wouldn't be as a flashy or rugged off-roader. Instead, it would likely be a more straightforward, purpose-driven vehicle. With its roots as a utility car from the 1960s and 70s, the Ranchero name fits perfectly into company's strategy of combining nostalgic models with modern engineering. If done right, the vehicle could offer the practicality of a pickup, but with the agility and fuel efficiency of a compact car, giving Ford yet another unique option in the highly competitive truck market. The Ford Maverick measures around 200 inches in length and shares its architecture with the Escape crossover. The new Ranchero would likely borrow a similar platform, but it would be noticeably shorter. The real challenge for designers is maintaining practicality in a subcompact size, especially with bed length. The Maverick's 4.5-foot bed is just long enough for most items, but the Ranchero might have to compromise here. To fix these space constraints, the Ranchero could be a two-seater only, unlike the four-door Maverick. This would reduce cabin space but allow Ford to retain some of the bed length necessary for a pickup's functionality. Though compact, it could serve city dwellers who need a smaller truck for tight spaces but still want a bed for hauling occasional gear or doing light work. While the Ranchero is expected to draw some inspiration from the Maverick's design, Ford would likely give it distinct touches to stand out. Expect a simpler aesthetic, focusing more on practicality than high-end options. It likely won't come with off-road packages like the FX4 or premium systems seen on the Maverick Lariat, but that's the point. Ford would aim for a cost-effective, city-oriented pickup truck. As a subcompact truck, the Ranchero would naturally slot below the Maverick, both in size and price. With the Maverick starting just under $24,000, it's reasonable to expect the Ranchero to debut closer to $20,000 or even lower. Higher-end trims, while still affordable, shouldn't exceed the $30,000 mark. By offering an inexpensive, functional option for urban drivers, the Ranchero could find its place in the expanding world of compact trucks.